A lot of people know obviously what fish oil is. What is krill? Krill is different from fish oil. Fish oil is triglyceride based and, uh, and krill oil is uh, a phospholipid based uh, oil. Uh, this is a very um, significant difference between the two oils. Also fish oil again has been around for many many years. Uh, by now it is very synthetic. Uh, actually during the process of fish oil uh, they use very high temperature they strip the triglycerides and then re-esterify the fatty acid after concentrating them, while creole oil is something that is very close to its natural source. It's actually something maybe more in the way of whole foods. Mm. It's simply taking the creole and extracting the oil from it and getting it in, in a form that is a lot closer to its form in nature, meaning phospholipids bound to EPA and DHA, as well as triglycerides and also a very powerful um, antioxidant called axaxanthin. Uh, krill contains astaxanthin, so mm -hmm. why doesn't fish oil have that and, and why, is, why do we need to focus in on astaxanthin? Why is that important? Astaxanthin is, as I said, one of the most powerful natural antioxidants. Antioxidants are, were also found to be very important uh, in our health. Also, mm -hmm. uh, keeping radicals, uh, um, all kinds of molecules that can be very harmful in our body, keeping the, their level down in a, in a, and, and they're natural, they have a natural source in the krill. They simply don't exist in fish or at least because of the process and the way fish oil is extracted and because the process is so, um, let's say, in, as I said, synthetic, you don't get any um, antioxidants with the fish while um, astaxanthin, which ex exists naturally in krill, um, is extracted with the oil. So you actually have the natural form. So you get double the benefit with a krill versus a fish oil? True. You have krill oil, which gives you, first of all, EPA and DHA, and second, you have the axaxanthin.